my team is out right now doing an important mission. And that is something that I was planning from two years, uh, since two years ago. And that definitely is something very important for you that have a dog because I want to help you to have a different eye on this specific thing that is so important for your dog. This is Jenny with The Balanced Canine and today we're doing a fun little exp social experiment with the dogs. Basically, we're trying to find out which dog people feel more comfortable petting a dog with a muzzle, a muzzled, and we're trying to break social stigmas. But for that, we have Diego here, and then we have Bricks, and we have Fang as well to help us out on that. And we're hanging out by the beach, just such a beautiful sunny day. Uh, so we're gonna enjoy that. We are not trying to pet anyone, but if you have the chance, which dog would you be more comfortable with petting? Both of them. Both? They're beautiful dogs. They are beautiful, right? What Absolutely. do you think about the muzzle that they have? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I see the muzzle, it gives me the impression that they're, uh, they bite. They bite, right? Uh, so I would say that every dog can bite, uh, but I would be much more comfortable petting a dog with a muzzle that he cannot bite me because of the muzzle won't let him. Yeah, yeah, I'm not afraid of that. Yeah? Nah, usually, I, I'm good with animals. So I always get along with them. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Okay, we're just asking to see how people feel comfortable petting a muzzle, no muzzle. Yeah, I would say it's always safer to pet a dog with a muzzle because he can't bite. Uh, most yeah. people that prefer to have the muzzle means that they're afraid of the dog. Yeah. If you show fear, actually you don't even have to show fear. If you're scared, they're going to sense it. They do sense it. it. All animals will do this. They sense it, and their natural reaction is to, you know, defend themselves, I should say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They sense your fear, and they're like, why are you scared? Yeah, absolutely. All right, bye. Have a great day. Thank you. you. Too. I'll let you enjoy your day. Take care. Thank you. A question about those two beautiful dogs. Yeah. Basically, is if you guys uh, would feel comfortable petting one of them, which one would you do? You're not petting well, anyone, I but know. just oh, it's a, it's a hard choice because they're both they're both beautiful. They're both so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about their muzzles? You know, I was reading an article well, about muzzles the other day, and they're becoming more and more popular yeah right well, yeah. let me ask you a question have they, these dogs bitten anybody no so we're doing a social experiment uh they are good boys both of them mm -hmm. uh but we're using a muzzle to see people's reactions how would they uh how they what do they think about the muzzles how would they react well, I would say i'd be hesitant to pet them because i thought they would be aggr they're, aggressive they're, right? they were aggressive that's why they wearing the muzzle i wouldn't be afraid so much as upsetting the dog maybe the dog would jump on you or something like that that is very spectral yeah yeah, yeah. respectful of the animals sure. yeah so we are dog trainers and we're trying to break the stigma that the muzzle is a bad thing mm -hmm. basically uh teaching people that the muzzle is actually a good thing mm -hmm. because any dog can bite it just depends on the situation how scared he can be uh if something or someone suddenly makes them feel a little threatened mm -hmm. Uh, but with the muzzle, even if they did try, they can't bite you. Yeah, they don't. They don't have the chance I don't know. to. I, I, I think uh, they'd be more comfortable without it, though, wouldn't they? Is that uncomfortable for them? So they have uh, plenty of space right. for panting. Right. Uh, I wouldn't use them for long periods of time, but right. just for a walk with your dog, it's fine. Right. Yeah. 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 Well. As I said, I read an I article so. the other day that uh -huh. said more and more people are employing the muzzles, muzzles for just the, the point you made. Safety. Yeah. yeah. Safety. Yeah. You never know. They are animals. But, uh, Maybe something can end up yeah. triggering them. Right. You don't scare a dog and you go up to it and you don't put your hand o over their head and you go underneath. Yeah. It's, it's all about us being more mindful and yeah. respectful yeah. of their space. Right. Going over yeah. Right. Sometimes they'll bite. Yeah. But going under their seat. Yeah, but muscles are a good thing for safety. All right, guys, thank you so, right. much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> thank you. Asking a question uh, about these two beautiful dogs. 
Basically, if you had the chance to pet one of them, which one would you feel more comfortable or safe? Uh, it's okay. We're not petting anyone, so you don't have to pet anyone. But do you? What do you think about the muzzles that they are wearing? Are they for safety? Are they? Are they? They are for safety. Yes. And some people don't use them, and uh -huh. they need to use them. They need to use some yeah, people. Absolutely. Some dogs are necessary, but they don't. Yeah. Right. You see people here, and they don't have dogs on leashes. Yeah. It's much better to have a muzzle, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we Sorry. like muzzles. Okay. <laughs> good morning, guys. How are you doing? Good? Good. We are making asking a question to the public uh, about those two dogs with a muzzle. So which one do you guys think it, you'd feel more comfortable if you had the chance to pet? I would pet them both because I, I love animals. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think about the muzzle? Was we, was just talk, we was just talking about said, it oh, coming. they got a muzzle. Yeah. They probably, <laughs> they probably bite. They probably got it because oh, they, they bite did. or something. Yeah. We was just having that whole conversation <laughs> coming this, this way. way. Yep. So we had... She even put the music down. <laughs> <laughs> I loaded down. I said, let me load on the radio so we don't get them agitated or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we are dog trainers and we're doing a little social experience. Uh, seeing how people react to the muzzle. Sometimes people feel a little bad for the dogs. Mm -hmm. um, I was definitely saying, felt I was bad. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, sometimes it's necessary, mm -hmm. depending on the dog. This one's a nine. We put it just for the social experience. They're both are very good boys. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes people don't want to get close to so the dogs with yeah, the muzzle. That's we, load, we, we load the radio. I was like, let's slow it down just in case. He looks like a small guy holding those two dogs oh, with a muzzle. Very big and strong. <laughs> that is true. That is yeah, true. So better safe like, than sorry. Let's slow the music down while yeah. we go by and get past them. Yeah, but uh, we always say that it's actually safer to be around a dog that has a muzzle. Because he can't do anything to you. Yeah. Even if he tries. He'll probably just knock you His mouth is blocky. Yeah. yeah. The worst part. But <laughs> when you try to pet a random dog that you don't know without That's a muzzle. I tell my kids not to do. Yeah. Because like to do that a lot. Uh -huh. They don't care what park we are. They're going like Yeah. That. And they don't know when they come back, they're going to get bit. Okay. Yeah. And the dog doesn't have a muzzle. The dog that'll bite them. They, they can't end up biting. But there's yeah. two. If that was a situation where someone pet them and they don't like it, they can't do anything. So muzzles are a good thing. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, have a great day. I felt bad, though. I, I, I felt no, bad, but then, <laughs> No, they're okay. We're about to leave. Thank you. All right, guys, have a good day. Thank you. And today we're going to do a little fun social experiment. Basically, it is... Fuck the Question. Would you mind answering your question? That's okay. Thank you.